Let's continue Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Have you been enjoying so far? Okay. The camp will be up today. So we'll see if there's anyone there. I mean, I would think now if I visit islands, it'll start giving me new villages. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Isabel now. Good morning, everyone. Right now, blah, 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 blah. Now for today's announcements. Starting today, Shamblania has its very own campsite. The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and kindness of its residents. I can't think of anything more fitting for Shamblania. I'm sure we'll get plenty of visits, so take a moment to wander over there and spread that island charm. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in. I keep forgetting to do that. It doesn't look like anyone's visiting today. Oh. Hello, Will. This is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor I'd like to introduce you to. Sorry to barge in on your day, but would you please come to the airport so you can meet her? Oh, it's just taking me there right away. Oh, the happy home thing is here. Ah, Will, you're here. Lottie, allow me to introduce you to Will. Hey, hello, I'm Lottie. I used to work with Mr. Nook a long time ago, before this big island venture he started. Yes, yes, she's quite talented. Lottie can handle anything from interior design to building layouts. And now she runs her very own vacation home company. Well, I did have a very good teacher. It's really coming along, though. We just got our new office set up, so we're finally ready to start taking orders from cust for custom vacation homes. Right now, we need another team member, a go-getter with vision and insight into our clients' needs. When I told Mr. Nook what I was looking for, he said he knew exactly who to ask, and here we are. In other words, she needs your help, Will. When she came to me, you were the first one I thought of. After all, you've done such a lovely job with your own home, surely you could do the same for others. I'll leave it to you and Lottie, of course, but my instinct has rarely steered me wrong. Yes, yes. Mr. Nook is quite a reference. If you want to join us, I won't say no. If you're... Oh, we're close by, so your commute would be a breeze, and I offer a competitive salary. What do you think? You interested? Sure. Fantastic. That's wonderful. I'll need to get a few things ready before you join our team, so I'll go on ahead. I'll see you there. We're not going to do that yet. It's just at some point. It's only made a day, hmm? This airport has a flight standing by whenever you're ready to meet up with Lottie. Just tell the staff at the front desk I want to go to work. Well then, I'll leave you be. Take care. Um... Yeah, I don't want to risk having villagers that I want in the town being over there, so... We won't do that yet. Okay, I'm not harvesting the fruit today, because what I want to do... Our leaf is here. Yeah, so now I know which one... They're all fruit trees. Except this one. Clear the land here.
have to eat five. Five? Yeah, it's five. I want to leave this island clear. Hey, Mr. Sam, how's it going? Gonna move the museum over here. Fish. renovations are happening. Uh, just minor. It's just setting up this central island as, I guess, a museum thing. It's just so it's in its place. But it probably won't be able to do much with it. Is this in the way? This is in the way. Ugh. Hours work long. Very long though. Just looking forward to tomorrow. Not that anything's happening, just that it's the end of the week. Oh. I think I can get produce off leaf. work from home, yeah. It doesn't make it any harder. Or any easier, I should say. See, that's how bad my brain is right now. Despise me? Why? Just because I work from home. It doesn't change the difficulty of my job. If I need to go for a drive for 10 minutes, I'll go do that now. I get that it's nice, though. I, I get it. I can't imagine myself wanting to go back to an office. You hate the people you work with, that's no good. But, I mean, the thing is, it's not, it's not uncommon. I sound terrible? What do you mean I sound terrible? As in, like, microphone sounds terrible, or like I just sound like a terrible person? I sound sick. Mm. 
Yeah, okay. That's just exhaustion. I'm more mentally tired than sleepy, if that makes sense. sound like I'm not present. I don't know. I can't, I can't hear myself. But I trust it. I need that public holiday next week. <laughs> it's gonna be good. I know you're gonna you're gonna hate me because I have a day off. Blah blah blah. Victorian's getting a day off for the footy. New South Wales should have invented a sport. school holidays. Well, that's good then. Now I can talk about me having a day off next week and not here, like... Man, you're lucky to have a day off. Work from home and a day off. Okay, where am I gonna put these? I might just get rid of ones that aren't. Like ones that aren't fruit trees. It's probably the easiest thing I can do. Work from home is the highlight of your career. It's pretty good. The thing is, not everyone's into it. Like, I know people that want to go to the office at least one day a week. Just because they want to get away from their family, which is... I don't know. I feel like that's a deeper problem. balloon. <laughs> Not much of a difference. It's so just brighter. Same pattern, just brighter. Okay. 
I mean, this can, this can just go. I'm not gonna plant another tree that's too close. Now I know these are fruit trees. Eventually I'll arrange them to be neat, I just can't be bothered now. So I want them to feel at least semi, sort of, I wouldn't say organized, but at least it's random enough that it feels like it's a little forest. What did my original island look like? I mean, if you want to look, I have VODs on YouTube when I was playing the Happy Home Designer. You can see my island there. Picture's worth a thousand words. But the path was like kind of like this dirt path that's up a little better. But this time around I'll do a better job of that. Like, I'm not going to bother trying to draw. Didn't I pick out another spot? Where did I pick another spot out? I saw I cut down one more tree. Alright, screw it. I'll cut down this one. But I had a red Godzilla thing in front of my house. Desert Island. You called it Sicilia, but it looked like Dubai. Oh, so it was just completely flat. I had mountains and everything. Island had a lot of presents from people. But admittedly, I don't think I thought it out at all. Look, this one I've, I've definitely put more thought into where things are going to sit, roughly. Speaking of, I need to, <laughs> need to move this house back one. Uh, I'll do the museum first, that seems less important. Flat river pond in the main town with a walled off city like Garuda from Zelda. Gotcha. Do you have a guard up front or something? Like a statue? The only thing I did that was that had some remote design aspect was the uh, I made a streamer room and then people just made artwork, so I hung it up. So that's about as far as I went. The rest it was just random. The airport led directly into the city. Oh. So, you basically made a port town.
Uh, I guess I'll go around and get all the fruit quickly. Your house must be full of cockroaches, haven't played in ages. That's where everyone's save file ends up, though. Eventually, everyone's house has cockroaches, and the villagers are just there waiting. Waiting with passive aggressive comments like, hey, we used to have someone that lived in our town that looked a whole lot like you. There was a new villager here for a sec. This is Audi. Guess what I have? I have something totally, totally need to tell you. Lean in close. Wait, um, what was it? Can you guess? Do you like the reaction for curiosity? Because I'm doing it right now. Pretty neat, huh? So if you liked, so like if I want to learn about a new thing, I just ask about it and wait to hear the deets. Curiosity allows you to learn about the world around you. And doesn't that sound tray fab? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, some of the things the villagers do. If you go on the way for ages, those kind of remarks. But also, like, you know, I could be. I have. I have these pants in my pockets. One of them will walk up and be like, "Oh wow, nice pants! Can I buy it off you?" And if you say no, they they will just be like, "Ah!" Oh, but like, they'll make you feel bad. They'll guilt trip you. Not all of them. Most will. Fine then, I didn't want your pants. you're immune to kill. Yeah, but you still have to hear it. I mean, that doesn't change my course of action. It's more that I have to listen to it. Gaucho pants feels like it'll match my uncle outfit. It's the same pants, just darker. Exact same pants. That's what I was wearing before. Stack shopping baskets? I don't think I ever found this one. need a new top. Well, I don't have it any. Like, the best I can do is just wear this or some shit. It's, I just don't have clothing. Get some. I don't have a clothing store. Like, 
I, I can't action this request. I just have to hope that the balloons drop clothing. While we're talking about things I can't action, why don't I, s I solve world hunger and world peace? everything. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> Just cure diseases as well while I'm at it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on it. I don't have all the tools necessary, so clearly I'll be able to do it. Still mail. Oh right, the stuff. Okay. All right, they. There you go. Those those new clothing. Or I could wear this. Wait, where'd it go? I look like I'm on <laughs> I'm on the Australian Olympic team. If I'm gonna do pole vaulting. Figure skating, yeah. Figure skating would also work. Or how about this is just like an out a cosplay of Australia's hero Stephen Bradbury? <laughs> yes, that guy. Hell yeah, I want the soup kettle. A floor toilet. I, I can't imagine those would be comfortable to use. They're pretty common in certain countries. You know what I'm gonna do? If there's a villager that annoys me, I'm gonna put this in front of their house. That'll be my punishment. Like Colton from New Leaf bringing the plague to the town. Oops.
All right, well, I got new music. Let's, let's see if this is any good. It'll be better than what I currently have. Colton is the sweetest? No, he's not. He walked up to me. And was like, hey, you want to buy this thing off me for, for three times the amount it's worth? And I said yes, because I thought maybe Colton would go, oh no, you're paying me too much. Here, have it for free. Or maybe, you know what, I'll give you something better. And then he just laughed and said, haha, I'll take the bells. I can't believe you're buying it. And then he brought the plague three times. Twice in one day. I had to put him into quarantine several times. So if a flea bag is your kind of character, I guess Colton suits you. <laughs> I think it was even more than that. I think it was even four times he brought he brought fleas. Just the true Uncle Jose. Well, Uncle's friend Jose, but yes. Jeez, I can only imagine. So I'm pretty sure he is a, he is an uncle now. to stress about wood for a while. Or I'll take off the basket thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have much. Just go complete green. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be, but... I, I, I find it amusing, and so I'm wearing this. I mean, I will create a front yard of sorts, so... What should I call you? Will? Will. Well. Will. I'm sarcastic. What a happy name. Oh yes, and I'm Leaf. I heard that my good pal Timmy moved out here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me... This was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure. I bet you were up to your ear holes in weeds when you first arrived. But the island itself is a blank canvas, and you can paint however you like with whatever plants you like. 
I hope some of the rare flower seeds, shrubs, and produce I starts I brought will be featured in your masterpiece. Okay. Carrots. In bulk. I don't know if I should do bush. I might buy the the starters, but I'm not gonna plant them. I love how bulk is just five. Like a six pack is is bulk. In new in in new terms. Gardening is your pensioner hobby, so what? Pensioners can only garden? I like the idea of gardening, it's just more the effort that I'm not down with. You don't imagine people your age garden. I know people that garden. That are that age. Younger, even. I guess it depends what your definition of gardening is, like having a yard and gardening? Or tending to some plants, does that count as gardening? Purchasing in, in these games, the conversations you have to have. I just want to have enough. So then I can, I guess, consider planning these somewhere. I'm probably going to clear a patch of land to just serve as a, a spot that I'm just going to plant flowers in to make the hybrids. Yeah. I need to, I need to bring up that guide again on how to do it. But I'd, I'd focus on one at a time. Alright, that'll do. going to have to guess.
I mean, I want to give myself a yard, so... Okay, let me just... Because I am lazy... I just want to... Plan out something. Lazy in real life? Uh, yes and no. I think some things definitely lazy, but then there's other things where I just I am not lazy on. Oh, like a yard in real life. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking how this is gonna go, like. See, I can do this for now. I think I want to give it more wiggle room. So, like, have these tiles clear. I'm sure there's a scarecrow at some point. Why don't I get a fence? That's what I'm planning to do. Yeah. Because I don't have the fencing kits yet, so I'm just measuring with the grid first. Because I have it. And I can just... Plus, if I want to put, like, wooden, I guess like a wooden pattern on the ground that'll serve it well. I want it to be three by three so then a center one can be a scarecrow or something. So that's what I'm measuring out now. I didn't think it would take as much space, but I guess it's a 4x4. Four four. It's a 3x3 three three planting grid, but the overall area is a 4x4. Four four. I can worry about what to display here later. I'll put like a placeholder. I'll draw a circle. Then at least it looks like they're little stones or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Placeholders. Okay. Alright, and then the central one, whatever it might be. I'm hoping I can put a single thing to make a scarecrow. Worst comes to us, I just fill it with more produce. Um. I guess I'll just plant carrots, because I can always move them later. Once I get different ones.
<laughs> okay, which means I guess the property line's gonna be here. And then we'll probably come to about here. I guess I can make it like just, yeah, that's fine. But the property line is here, that's fine. I'll figure something out. Because then I could probably put another house here. I would just have to alter the river landscape later. Okay. So this doesn't look horrible. what I wanted to do. Hang on. Turn off the mirroring. This probably won't look good initially. It's fine. of a circle. Ugh, the smoothing on this can be weird. enough. Pretty sure I got my shading wrong here. <laughs> as long as it doesn't look flat. I'm probably gonna replace this later, but let's just Um
I'm just gonna call it divider for now. Yeah, I mean, look, that's fine. Like, realistically, I need to make four or five of them and then bury it, but for now. Oh, right, you need to use the landscaping thing for that to work. Dedicate a spot of land for growing flowers. We want clothes? Why? <laughs> I'm wearing perfectly good clothing. There's nothing wrong with the clothing I'm wearing. Do flowers along that wall. Just as I guess a place to do the uh, the hybrid thing. Once I'm done with one, I'll move on to the next lot. So, and then I'll figure out how to spread them everywhere. Bamboo fencing. I don't have bamboo at all. I don't have any fencing. I don't have bamboo, so I can't make it with bamboo. Okay, well, these are going into storage because I'm not going to put them down yet. It's like for way later. Uh, I'll see if I can purchase some sort of fencing. Campsite is impressive. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. It won't be long until we get some guests. Okay. 
Do some wedding, plant some flowers, outdoor decorations. Do I buy everything? Um, in the interest of this, yes, because I'm not playing it that much. But if I was to be playing this constantly, probably not, because you could get it without buying. And I'm not going to be playing this forever, so... I wouldn't say everything, everything, but most things. Got log fence. But that needs bamboo. Immediate delivery. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing to get this one. But something at least, if I don't like it, I can replace it later. going to be one of the wood types. Softwood. How many did that give me? Ten. Uh, maybe one more. set up the fencing for the house. Okay. To enjoy the cooking they introduced. It's just a shame it doesn't really really do much outside of it makes some nice decorations but then the food itself is just the same as uh like eating a fruit okay you could eat it yeah but it doesn't give you anything Anything different, that is. It's still... Same, same. Actually, kind of nice for a garden fence. Wait, what? Why is it being weird?
I just wish you could do like what you do in Stardew, which is make a gate. Ah, I see it needs to be one more wider. No, not that. Oh. You can do that with it. I sort of need to make it one more wider. You haven't had bread in real life in ages, you could eat the whole basket. The last time I had something bread like, went to a German pub thing and had pretzels. But, you know, the baked pretzels. They're really good. Good enough. Um, yeah, screw it, just cut it down. I think I have enough trees, honestly. It's like a sheep pen. Yeah, I just wish they could make a gate that opens when you walk into it but anyway all right um hybrids guide animal crossing new horizon let's see okay so we got what have i got i've got mum okay so red and white would make pink. But then, what's the grid you arrange it in? Hang on. Like, it's flower space flower, right? Oh, hang on. Here's a better guide. This. Fortunately, the image is tiny. Jeez. I'm looking at this thing, it's pretty hectic to dive for it. Someone's made a 12 by 12 grid, which is the most optimal way to get everything. But that's not what I want. I want an individual one. Okay, apparently a turtle. Turtle. So it's like. Okay. Shit. But then. Hang on. I'm trying to read into how this works. They have the grid, but there's no... There's no representation of, like, how you should do it. Cliff isolated pairs. I didn't, I didn't expect this to be that for long. 
Okay. I'm trying to find a good answer, but there's so many answers, and I just I just want one that is giving me like two colors, and then what to do with the two colors. That's all I'm after. Okay, here we go. So hang on. It's so it's a five by five grid is what I need. So I have hang on. That's I think I need to make it one wider. Because this is five, but then this is not five cross. I'm saving this image because otherwise this this is going to just be annoying. <laughs> to find it later. I found a good answer. Hey. Okay, this is five by five, right? I'm gonna measure. I don't wanna mess this up. Yeah, this is this is five by five. Okay, so I'm going to place them. I'm gonna place these on the spots where I shouldn't plant them. So, hold on. According to this guide. Ah, balloon! That kind of works. You can treat it as like a compost bin. There you go. Okay. Uh, where is that image? That. Jeez, it's no wonder I never bothered with this the first time around. It's just... It's super involved. Doing this so I don't accidentally plant them somewhere where I'm not supposed to. The pattern is straightforward, it's more I don't trust my positioning enough to be like, okay, well, I'm gonna plant these correctly. Okay, uh, 
right, so... Let's start with the red ones first. Yeah, we're doing mum. Okay, apparently with this... It's just white and red initially, and then purple later. Okay. White. I hate that I'm going to do this this way, but just bear with. This is not going to be center aligned. This is like when you start signing your name on something and then you realize you're going to run out of room, so you start squishing stuff together. I can move it though, so that's fine. It's never going to be center alive. Um, whatever. It's fine. This is so I know what flower I'm growing, apparently. I'll get rid of the stuff on the ground. Painting. no room to put anything. There we go. It's, it's not great, but it does the job. I guess I go from there, it's just whatever. Alright. I wish I could just make like a storage chest and put the seeds here, but eh. Another one. Okay. 
Okay, well, that's a salt. to do that. Check the the art is in town today. It's not. early. time being. I need to think how I'm going to divide this up, but it's probably going to be just like that. So I thought you could move the mailbox. I think that happens later. Anyway. putting the other junk away. It's a start. I'll change it later. I need more fencing types. Museum first. Wake up, lovers. Your skull. Go for it. Plesiosaurus is a classic of the ancient reptile world. That long graceful neck, the wee little head, and the plump turtle-like body make for a striking silhouette. 
<laughs> Incidentally, despite the Saurus name, it wasn't actually a dinosaur. Come and arrow, what? But they were surely a majestic sight swimming in those ancient seas like a long necked rubber ducky. <laughs> I think I've done this one as well. Quetzal ring. Wing. Go for it. Oh, Quetzal. Ah, oh, yeah, Quetzal Cartless. The undisputed ruler of the skies, at least during the late Crustaceous period. It had a magnificent wing span of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. Whilst it no doubt soared magnificently, we know. We now know that it also crawled on all fours. It's a bit disappointing, really, this illustrious sky god scrabbling on the ground like a common beetle. You say never meet your heroes. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, move the museum. Eventually, I'll start saving fossils because I'll do, like, an outdoor display thing. But for now... K to go. All right, let's do the ceremony. Ah, Will. Hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you? Let's hold the ceremony. The campsite. Just get everyone out in the rain to open a campsite. It's fine. Now then... Welcome to our dedication to honoring Shamblonia's brand new campsite. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Shamblonia is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do believe this campsite will bring more attention to Shamblonia. If we treat our guests well, they may consider moving here. It's just what any growing island needs. I want everyone to stop by the campsite and have positive interactions with the guests here. Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw to it that we can build a campsite. Let's give a warm Shamblonia welcome to Will. Anything to add? As always, this... Yes, anyway, thank you for the heartfelt and encouraging sentiments sir. Will. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also wishing to take a primary photo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's done. Ah, oh, crap, it's gonna put me back outside. 
Okay. Well, I gotta go back in. I, I wish I wouldn't do that and <laughs> just put me back in the chair. Oh, right. Just press the pad. Yep, another ceremony. Yeah, let's get started. Let's drag everyone from their homes again and in the rain. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony, Orinoring Chamblonia's brand new resident services. Thank you. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Chamblonia is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes, I must confess, I thought our little resident services building might be a tent forever. But now here we are with a beautiful new facility the whole island can enjoy. Once again, I must thank everyone who supported our efforts. And I would be at fault if I failed to acknowledge a strong ally who will help me run things from now on. Isabel, if you could trace our island friends with a few words. I'm so glad for this opportunity to say thanks to Shamblonia. Like Mr. Nook said, I'm Isabel. I haven't been to this island long, so I have ways to go until I'm fully up to speed, but... You can bet your bottom bell that I'll help any way I can. If you need anything, come see me. Alright. Thank you, thank you, Isabel. Next, we'll get a word from someone who made our brand new residence building possible. That's right, it's time to hear from Champlone's very own Will. Think to add. Whoa. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Will. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, I was wishing to take a memory photo. I should get ready to press the screenshot button. Okay. And that's done. Well, hopefully I can move the museum. I think there might be a cost associated with it. I don't remember. Okay, uh, layout changes. at construction costs. Yeah, talk about relocation. I mean, maybe I have enough. The museum. Oh. Well, I, I probably should have held on to a bit more money after donating to the bridge. It's alright. Uh, I'll go to an island and I will probably make the money there. I'll just see what happens with the island. Either way, I'll just fish up or maybe get critters on the island. And then, yeah, just come back. Plus, I might be able to get bamboo or a villager, so it's worth it. I haven't gone to an island today. Alright. Let's go. Uh, do I have everything? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah, it wants me to go to Lottie, but... I mean, the thing is, I don't want to risk a villager being over there. I want to make sure that I can, uh... I can run into one that I might potentially want on an island, so I'm just not going to do that for a while. 
Plus, I've already played the DLC, and there's lots for it. So. Alright. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, Cherry Island. Nice. Well, I mean, with this, it should be enough already. I guess I'll just get the, uh, the furniture and go. I don't think I need to stick around, and I guess I can always go critters back on the island if, uh, if I need it. Oh. Ah, come on! <laughs> it's the it's the shopping basket thing that I got earlier. Ah, that's just unlucky. Trust me to get that. It wasn't even that long ago I got it too. Oh well, I'll just sell it. I mean, it'll contribute to the museum moving fund. Shut up by accident. There's a lot more fruit on this island than normal. I mean, this will definitely make up the amount I need. And then some, so... Alright. I probably won't have to do any anything else. gonna get wood but at the very least I'll do the stone stuff. No! <laughs> Ugh. We 
pretty much that. It's just the slot of trees to go. and then I think we're pretty much done. Try and find the furniture and then we'll, I guess, move on. Oh, wait a minute. Was everything fruit? Oh. Yeah, I think everything was fruit here. No, these were definitely fruit from this point forward. Alright, well. I guess no, no, uh, jeez, I forgot the word furniture for a sec. I wanted to say like item, but I just forgot. It's been a long day, it really has. Gold! Nice. Alright, well, I think we're done here. Since there's no furniture to be found, I guess just head back. Okay. Gold time. I should have enough to move the museum now. Infrastructure, layout changes, museum, yes, 
We'll see what Blathers thinks of the idea. I'll wait one moment. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm on board. Indeed, go forth and find some place fitting for scientific wonder. Alright, sounds great. I'll leave the rest to... yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what if Blazer said no? Okay, you over here. This way. Sandy, you're popping in before you head to a new job. Alright. Thanks for popping in. Hope it goes well. Uh, I'll just do that. Okay, so it leaves like just about 30,000. A couple of trips of ocean stuff. So I got a couple of crabs, it'll work well. I think I've done what I've wanted to do for today. Since it doesn't look like the islands are giving me villages yet, it's not worth doing that yet. Two to three laps, we'll see. Just depends how lucky I got. Seaweed, yeah. Like, 
Yeah, I guess I'm in no rush. <laughs> I could sell them. I got plenty of them. It's not like I, the mermaid stuff I want, particularly. I think it's a scallop. Oh no, it's a crab. Okay. Yes, more crab. More crab. Alright, there's the scallop. Time to hear some wisdom from Stone Otter. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Remember, even if things are bad, there's always hammocks. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep, today is a good day. Gave me a pearl again. I'm saving them. I don't know why. I mean, maybe there's something I want to build with it. I don't know. Tomorrow it'll be good, the bridge will be built. And then, at least in future, all I have to do is just chop that one part down with the landscaping.
I'm probably gonna have to make another trip. Looking at what I've caught so far. Unless I got a crab somewhere here. A big one. It's not a crab. I mean, it's worth a bit, but not a crab. I mean, little crab, but still crab. Be cool if I could just hang on to this and then just step foot in the ocean. Nine more. If only Stone or Otter could take multiple. What, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's three in a row. almost made it look like they're common. I just realized the only thing with the house is I have to move it somewhere else first, then move it to where I want it to be. <laughs> 20,000 bells to fix it off being off by one.
Last one. I think Pearl Lost is a fine. I should probably try catching this. I'll just buy out how the controller vibrates. I've got enough where I'm just slightly off. Yeah. Done! <laughs> I'm left with 420. Did not plan that out, but sure. Pretty much it. That's what I wanted to get done today. Pay off the bridge, set a couple things up. I did visit an island, but no villager was on it, unfortunately. Like, I might still be picky about it, I don't know. Alright. Well, yeah, uh, that's it for Animal Crossing for today. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoy it as always. And if you want to uh, support the channel over here, just remember to click buttons like the like one as it helps the channel out a lot. So thank you to those that do 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 that. Do do that. <laughs> I've had a long day. But yeah, uh, if you want to watch something else of mine in the meantime, two other videos have probably popped up. So hope you check them out. But till next time, bye YouTube.